Hi you guys, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey everyone, what's up? Before I like start this video, I was in the United States, as most of y'all know, and one of the main things I did aside from shopping was eating. I gained so much weight, you guys. I have like a kartoffel belly right now, and <laughs> I've realized that since living in Germany for so long, I've become accustomed to certain foods and not accustomed to a lot of American foods that I used to really not enjoy but be okay with eating. And since going back, I've realized that there are a bunch of foods that it would be an absolute no-go, not even for taste, healthy reasons. I mean, there's so many different reasons, how many chemicals and everything are inside. There's just so many foods that Germans would not eat in the United States and they would not allow to come over to Germany. If you guys think of any other foods, let me know. I've made a big, as big as a list as I could, but yeah, let's go. The first one is going to be fried Oreos or fried cheesecake. All of our food in the United States varies from region to region. So up north people really don't eat that much fried food as in comparison to people in the south in Florida and stuff where I'm from. You can eat basically anything fried. You can fry anything in Florida. I want to say you want to fry some ribs in a tyke, then you can do that. You want to take a pizza and fry it, you can do that. And I mean, people will frown upon you a little bit, but it's it's normal. People fry everything, so it's not really that bad. But I feel like in Germany, an Oreo and a cheesecake are already unhealthy foods. And frying it makes it even unhealthier. And German people, they just be like, why would you do that? It's so unnecessary. I feel like German people try to stray as much, stray far away as possible from frying it as they possibly can, if that makes sense. Fried Oreos are no go. Number two are going to be Vienna sausages. You guys are thinking, yeah, we have Wiener Würstchen. I understand you guys do, but Vienna sausages in the United States, if you guys grew up in a household like me that did not have that much money. Vienna sausages were our staple of food, you guys. They are disgusting. The Libby's ones, the one in the little can that you pop open and you bring them out of this liquid soup concoction that they're sitting in. <coughs> and it's basically like the little Wiener Würstchen that you have and they just cut them up small, but they're like weird tasting. It's not the same like taste. I don't know, it's not the same sausage taste that you guys have for Vienna sausages, uh. if that makes sense. They're horrible. They're really horrible. And if you're American, you guys can also let them know that they're horrible. I know people that still eat them to this day, and I'm just like, I don't know how you guys, that's an ab abomination. I'm like, this is horrible. Number three would have to be cheese in a can, aerosol cheese, cheese whiz, whatever you want to call it. Germany is surrounded by so many places that have such awesome cheese. They wouldn't really need a cheese in a can, and they wouldn't really want American American cheese in a can. I'm not gonna go into the other problems of it being unhealthy, disgusting, whatever, just plastic. I'm not gonna go into that. I'm just gonna say that they have so many other options that they really honestly don't need cheese whiz. Now in some German stores, I have seen that they have like an American section, a little um, nook, cranny, corner of a grocery store, and then there's cheese whiz there. The next one is going to be chicken and waffles with syrup and everything. This is like a staple of southern food that people actually eat waffeln mit frittierte Hähnchen. The next one is going to be pickled pig's feet. And I'm telling you these because these are all southern foods. I feel like it should be titled southern foods that German people will not eat because that's all I'm talking about. Pickled pig's feet are usually found at gas stations or old people's house or any... Oh, and, and, and these little places that you would never think, they sometimes sold them at certain grocery stores like Walmart, depending on where you're at. It's basically a fermented pig's foot. I mean, if you're gonna eat meat and if you're going to eat like animals and stuff, I feel like eating the whole animal is actually the best because then that animal didn't die completely in vain. If you eat the tongue, the feet, the eyeballs like some people do, I applaud you for that, but I just couldn't eat it myself. The next one would be sweet potato casserole. In the United States, usually for Christmas or Thanksgiving or, or, or a bunch of family gatherings, we take a sweet potato, we mash it all up, put butter, sugar, it depends on what, how you make it, condensed milk, we mix it all together and then you top it with a little bit of sugar, then you top it with marshmallows, and then sometimes people put cinnamon and sugar on top of the marshmallows. Depending on where you're at, that's like, I guess the basic recipe of sweet potato casserole. German people would be like, why are you taking a already sweet fruit and vegetable and making it 
more sweet by adding more sugar, topping it with more sugar. I don't think it would be able to process with their mind and be too sweet for German people. The next one is going to be liquid butter on popcorn. I've yet to find popcorn that gets, like we legit, if you watch my video from a year ago, a year and a half ago when I went to visit my mom and my grandma in Florida, at the movie theater there was a dispenser that you would take your popcorn and you push a button and out would come just butter, liquid hot butter and you put it on your popcorn. I feel like that's normal. They usually ask you at the movie theater, do you want it with or without butter? And if you get it with butter, your fingers are just covered in liquid salty butter. It wouldn't slide here because German people, they'd be afraid of the clogged artery and whatnot that they would be getting from it. The last one you guys are going to be corn dogs. I don't know how to explain this in German. Would be a Wurst, like a little Wiener, not a Wiener Wurst, like a some kind of sausage wrapped in a fluffy teig and then I don't know if they're fried or not I want to say they're baked please lord let them not be fried because then ugh. this is like what kids grew up on I hate corn dogs you guys because as a kid we had to eat them at school and they're so cheap and they're so easy to make and they're actually very filling for how small they are for kids i cannot eat a corn dog i mean maybe once every two to three years if i find one somewhere other than that is i find it to be disgusting you guys really really disgusting <laughs> i think that's it you guys i don't think i have any more foods or whatnot that i can talk about if you have anything that you find to be disgusting where you're from like what i've listed right now leave it below in the comments and i hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much and